Hello, welcome to another Open Geospatial tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Mercury uh, Street View imagery in Jupyter Noble environment and also in web applications. And so if you've never heard about Mercury, it's a website here that provides freely available Street View imagery, similar to Google Street View, but it's free and you can use it for uh, also commercial applications. And although um, the coverage is not as comprehensive as Google uh, Street View, but it's free. Um, so, and it's uh, a website created by Meta, uh, Facebook basically. Uh, so anyone can contribute Street View imagery. You can capture it using your phone, using camera, or using your uh, vehicle. So it's very, very powerful. And it's the largest freely available, uh, available uh, Street View imagery uh, that you can get. So uh, this is what it looks like. Or this is what we're going to create. Uh, you can have uh, load the data layer so this is global scale so you can zoom to any location of your interest and once you zoom to a certain level it's going to show you the uh, blue dots so the blue dots basically means the location of the imagery that will capture and then you also have the sequence so the sequence is basically just the trajectory uh, when the uh, imagery will acquire uh, overall you should have these points basically the points align with the line but they are not always the case on the right you're going to see the panel of the street view so allows you basically to navigate through now uh, you can play them or you can go to any particular location and you can click the map and you can click on any point it should be able to query the database and then show you just the street view for that particular location uh, you can also click uh, here just to play so you can go through just like what you um, see on google street view so this is what we're going to create and i'm going to show you step by step how to uh, do that you can go to the uh, leaf map uh, website to download the notebook so on the left side click map uh, library and then scroll down to find map purity okay so from here you can either download this one to your computer so just click link and then right click save as to download this one as a Jupyter notebook to your computer alternatively you can open in google collab so you can run uh, this one in google collab uh, make sure you install um, the package and then you should be able to run through that i have already have this one on my computer here so let me restart my kernel just to show you uh, what it looks like so first you need to import the library so i'm going to import leaf map and also uh, map purity next you will need to get a token so the token basically means uh it's free but you need to actually have a token to access the street view uh, imagery it's free you can get that one by click the, clicking the link here and then just click get an access token once you click, uh, you will log into your website, then you can actually just get a token. So this is just an example token, but um, I encourage you to just create one for yourself. And once you have that, you can set that as an environment variable. So I already have that. So I'm going to run this code log and that's it. So we are ready to go. So next we're going to create the map uh, using uh, lip map and map library. And the style, I'm going to use the bright, so basically it's just a base map data layer. So you can see here, this is uh, the free vector uh, tile from Open Free Map. And we specify the center, uh, the longitude and the latitude, the zoom level, and then the sidebar to visible to two. So the sidebar basically is just this one. Um, so you can uh, show, see here because we have the street view panel that we want to show the imagery later. So we uh, set this one to visible by force. We also add the base map, so basically the Google satellite base map. And this is where you can um, get the basically the, the street view. So add map theory, the minimum zoom level, the maximum. So basically the minimum and the maximum, this one controls uh, the, the points. So if you zoom in, uh, when you surpass uh, zoom level six, you will see we have these points, right? So now you can click anywhere on those points you will be able to show you basically the id so for example creator id and also the image id so the image id is the one that has all the metadata information or if you need to download the imagery you need to get the id so i'm going to show you how to download the imagery later but uh, this one basically shows you the metadata uh, information and so how do we actually uh, get the street view uh, very simple on the right here you click this panel then you can click on any points it should be able to retrieve the street view imagery as you can see here right now we're using a split pan, uh, map so you can have one well, on the left you have the base map on the right you have the the photo but uh, this is kind of too narrow you can click this button here 
and you can change this one to a uh, much wider so that you can see it more clearly once you have that now you can expand this one again so i'm going to click one more time then you should be able to retrieve the image uh, so the map theory has different uh, views so this one is called a split means you have one on the left here and the other one on the right so you can totally click you will see how it's actually moving although it's not very uh, super clear but you can see uh, it's moving uh, towards the, the north and so this is the uh, split but you can also have the uh, just the photo mode so this will be just showing you the photo or you can have the classic so classic that means you're going to have a small overview window on the lower, lower, left, corner, lower left corner so i'm going to change it again to a large view and so zoom in now i can click on the map oh you need to expand expand it so i click uh, the point again on the right it should be to show you the photo and then with the overview right so on the lower left corner and then i can click you can zoom in so you can see it's moving towards the northwest uh direction so this is super cool that you can overlay this one with any data that you want because it's built on, it's built on top of a uh, leaf map and a uh, map libre so you can add any other vector data or raster data layer and this is particularly useful if you are doing some remote sensing data classification or something you need to verify using uh, set imagery and also the google street view so now you don't have to be switching different applications to get the login latest your longitude and then go to material website to, to, uh, to do that you can do everything within a single uh, platform right so this is how you can create a map and then load the data and then zoom to any location just one click you'll be able to get the imagery if you clap this one then you will not query the imagery so because it's based on your mouse click location so when you click your mouse it's going to get the coordinates and then if if you have that um expanded the, the panel is going to basically listen to your mouse event otherwise not listening to the mouse event so it's not interfering with your other um interactions with the map okay so this is how you can create a um view imagery and if you want to query the imagery programmatically uh, you can do that as well so you can just call this function so it's pure uh, map purely imagery and then specify the latitude the longitude the radius so the radius basically is just the degree um how far you want it uh, to search the imagery surrounding your mouse click location and how many images do you want to return so if you just one click um you'll be able to see we have five images because we set to five of course you can set to 10 or 15 whatever you like you're going to get more images based on your mouse click location the nearest one right uh, so i'm going to switch back to five and these are all the id the image id so if you click on the map you'll be able to see like these are the id so these are <coughs> these are the ones that uh you want to get and so if you really want for example let me show you here how to get you and get the imagery for a particular location so for example they say okay i'm i'm trying to maybe find images surrounding for example for this building or something like that you can certainly do that uh, maybe let's try this one here right so you're going to click this one then right how to actually get the, the latest on team you can just map dot view state so here you should be able to get where your mouse click location it is and this will be the latitude as long as you this is latitude and then all you need to just simply copy here and replace this with your new location then just click uh, run it you should get all the imagery right so these are the five images and once you have the id then you can get the url right so the get mercury image url you're going to pass in one image id so essentially what we're looking at is this one and the resolution is a re original so that means you're going to get the original resolution and once you uh, run this code block you will be able to join the uil uh, you can see this is a very long uil because it's generated based on your uh, token so if you click link it will take you to the web to this website and you will see this is actually what it looks like so the building what we're looking at i think it's the one here on the right so basically the vehicle uh, moving locations and it's the one exactly close to, to your um, location and if you need to download all images right so we have five uh, image ids you can just call this function download map period imagery and then passing the list of images and run it it should be to download those five images all together so if you ever need to use the imagery for other applications for example deep learning something like that you can do that so one two 
three, four, five. Uh, the image quality looks a little bit different, but uh, you get the idea. So you can source any image for any location as long as you have the image. If it doesn't return anything, you may need to increase the radius. So sometimes if the location is a little bit far away from other CV image, then you uh, increase this number. So you got uh, expand the source radius. So in that way, you get more uh, photos. Okay, so this is how you can search and download images. If you just need a widget, you don't want the leaf map, for example, the base map, then you can use this way, right? So get map purely and then just give the image ID and then specify the style, right? Like we mentioned earlier, the style has classic. Classic means you have the photo and then you have the base map in the lower left corner. And this allows you to just create this image widget so you can just moving along without the big uh, base map on the, on the left side. Okay, so this is how you can create the um, classic one and also the split. Split means you have one base map on the left, the image on the right, right? So in that way, you can see clearly the moving direction, right? To the, to the north east direction. So when the map is moving along, I hope that they have other indicator, but uh, on the on the um, website, they have that indicator, the, the either the vehicle moving. So you can have an indicator on, on the map, but um, for this web, um, request it doesn't have that okay so and then the last one is the photo view the photo basically means just the photo without uh, the base map so if you just want to see the photo you can do that also i'm going to show you right so this is on the right if you click this one it's going to show you the speed so if you by default it's somewhere in the middle but if you want it to be a little bit slower just moving like a turtle and then you change it to be a slower if you want the larger one then you can do it here you can change it to a i mean it's going to move a uh, lot quicker you can also change uh, click this one so this basically means the trajectory the sequence from the beginning to the end so right so this is here this is where it gets started so the car part on the street and then if you see here it's going to move out and then the vehicle move so if this is the whole trajectory captured by a particular creator from the beginning to the end so it's very nice that you can actually at least see how the car is moving across uh, the roads and also see others here so there are a lot of images in here this looks like video but essentially it's just a bunch of photos uh, put together and the whole trajectory of the vehicle moving um very very cool the last one is similar to what i showed you earlier so this is actually an earlier version uh it's kind of the same except that now we don't have the uh, the sidebar we just have this uh, street view uh, together here and similarly, if you click on any of the uh, locations, it should be able to create uh, the street view for that particular uh, location. And you can turn the layer on and off here. Uh, you can also turn the base map off. So this is how you can interact with the map with the widget. And once you have this, if you want to, for example, um, deploy as a web application, you can deploy as a void app. So I can show you. I have this notebook here, map theory, and also the web, um, the the um, notebook app so one thing you can do is to just remove all other content just have the source code without having oops without having any um hacks so right now i only have four core blocks right i import the library i set the token and then just create a map so once you have this you can easily turn this one into like a web application using voila so what you can do here you don't need to install voila but i'm going to say contact activate uh, geo and then you say voila app.ipomv whatever notebook you want to uh, to create the web applications and once you have that it's going to actually open the notebook execute all the source code and then see the results so this is exactly what i showed you earlier now you don't see any source code it's just a dashboard it's very very powerful so you can easily turn in turn any Jupyter notebook into a web application just uh, one like call and then you can deploy on Hugging face or other uh, platforms uh, for free, and you can turn things on and off. Um, you can expand this one, and then you can click your mouse. You're going to see the street view here um, retrieve on the right. Okay, so this is what I want to show you. I hope you find it useful. I will see you in the next one.